Last time we made it to Ecuador, but we got into some major trouble. <gasps> uh, babe, this is oil. You worried about the van? Yes. What? Oil. No! Turn it off, turn it off! No! What can we do? Uh, is there a way to, to stop a leak like that? Okay, is there, do you see it? That's a bad leak. Yeah, we're, we're pretty screwed. Should we try to go down before it gets worse? Let me see if we got oil. So it looks like the oil pan is loose. Yeah. And Danny's trying to tighten it, and one of the bolts broke. We don't have service. This is really, really, really bad. Yep. We have a thing collecting the oil, so at least we won't be out here without oil. But the oil honestly doesn't look that good. But at least we won't be completely out of oil. We can replace it. Yeah, we have this sealant. Not sure if it's gonna help a ton. Oh no. Yeah, I feel like maybe we should just keep going. I don't know. Okay, so we're thinking maybe we let the oil drain, get it dry, and put the sealant on, pour the oil back in. <sighs> oh no. So it's not a great plan, but the best plan we can come up with is I'm gonna ride my bike back to the last spot here. Hopefully they got some oil. It sucks because I have to leave Emily here. Oof, you gonna be okay, babe? Oh my god, this is the worst, huh? I thought I'd come back to here, but this place is closed up. Hopefully they don't mind. Cut under that barbed wire. Let's see what's up over here. Okay, gate number two. This is not going well. What a bridge, by the way. This is pretty high elevation too. It's hard to catch your breath. Uh, Cause the BMX, you know, it's not suited for this. Nearing these farms. Best case scenario, Somebody is really helpful. This is looking like the most dead farm I have ever seen. Is there anybody out? It's like three cows. Oh god. Oh no. And this is like insanely muddy up here. Hola! Disculpe! The things that we're doing might seem kind of dumb to some people. I don't really know. We don't have service, so we can't look anything up. I've already read the manual and it doesn't have anything. I have no idea why we have this. Danny will probably be able to tell us why, but it's a silicon that is for high temperatures. And it says that you can use it on oil pans. So uh, right now I'm just trying to collect as much oil as I can. I know it's not a good idea to put this oil back into the van, but if I didn't collect it, it would also be like kind of a environmental disaster. I don't know what we're gonna do. We really, really messed up. That was really not a good idea to just drive through that without checking it first. We had already checked a bunch of other spots and we got through those spots. We are just getting overconfident. The oil pan is also the only thing. There's a big dent in it, but I think the best plan is to just use the silicon on the oil pan and put the oil that we collected back in the van. So upset with myself that we let this happen. We're just gonna try, I'm just, this is what I'm gonna attempt and if it doesn't work, we're gonna have to get towed out of here from here. I hope Danny's all right on his saga. Man, so I was able to talk with the boss and he said he does have some oil. <sighs> he said it's closer to go back to Tulcan. So I'm not sure how we're gonna get past that puddle. I mean, I'll do it a lot slower, I'll look, check the depth. I don't know if we can get a tow from here or what we're gonna do. So this doesn't seem like the perfect one. We use 5W20, I think. And I'm pretty sure having something in there is better than nothing. We can make it down with this. Muchísimas gracias. Listo. Milagro usted. We got a way out, so. Just so stupid for not checking the depth. Emily didn't blame me once. She's been amazing. I'm really glad she thought we should start catching the oil. My buddy's back home. I was able to get in touch. A couple car guys. And both of them said, even though it isn't the ideal oil, this is a 20W50. They said, you know, mixed with the oil that we've saved, it should be fine. 
and they recommended you know that RTV sealant putting it and waiting at least 30 minutes for it to, to cure up at least we got a plan the worst first day in a country <laughs> So while we're waiting for Danny, I'm just eating. <laughs> I made a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and I made one for Danny for whenever he gets back because I bet he's starving. So hopefully he gets back soon. I bought arbeja carnaval. It's actually peas, but <laughs> I don't really like these, but these are actually toasted with salt. I'm, I'm impressed. Hello, welcome to under the van. <laughs> We're just watching this oil drip into the container. Oh, somebody just joined the fun. Yep, we're all watching the oil. Great. I've already collected this much oil, but it's pretty cold outside, so I'm gonna sit inside. You trying to make us feel better too, buddy? That boss of the farmers, in addition to being such a nice dude, he said, hey, why don't you take this shortcut over here back? I am a little worried about getting lost now, since I haven't been this way. It's looking okay so far. And that black horse was my landmark to find a bridge. Ah, there it is. And he recommended I hold the bike in one arm and really hold on well to this bridge. Wow, sketchy. Look at this. But a shortcut's a shortcut. Oh my gosh. Oh God, okay. What? He said there was a path. Yeah. Okay, so this was a considerable shortcut. I'm pretty sure this power line up here is the road. So, hopefully we just see Emily. Oh, thank God, there it is. The van. Emily! Oh, I see her in there. So glad. She's okay. Definitely not ideal to have a BMX in this situation. Oh, Ooh, boy. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, I got oil. Yeah, the guy even lent me his backpack. <laughs> That's amazing. I was I read the thing on the um, tube of sealant and it's for oil proof. <laughs> oh babe, I'm so glad you're up here. I missed you. I'm so sorry I messed up like this. You did and it was both of us. Yeah. I was able to get in touch with Joss and Cam. Okay, what they say? They said even though this oil isn't the right one, it'll be fine. Okay. Yeah, I think what we gotta do is turn around and drive ourselves down. Okay. I wanted, so you don't have to give that backpack back? Yeah, I'm gonna leave it at the gate. Why did you come from that way? <laughs> oh. so I looked at the mirror and I was like, huh. And then I looked up and I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. There's a trail, like, it's like right there. And it, it's not a very good trail. And I don't think I would have taken it if I had known it was there. <laughs> Cause it's just like two tracks through the bottom of here, I guess. Wow, you guys, it is cold up here. <laughs> so what we're gonna do now while we're waiting for that oil to drip out completely is solve the riddle of this crazy hole that has messed up the van. We need to find a way back through it without damaging anything further. Were we that far through? So it's deep there. What about maybe even just over here? Some people went this far over. So the tricky part would be right here, I guess. But uh, I could put some dirt here, some dirt here with the shovel, and we go way on the right. Ecuador Road Crew at your service! Wow, so it seems like it's only leaking from right where that broken screw is, pretty much. But you can see just how dented that got. We're really lucky that that dent isn't leaking. Man, we can't get this thing to stop dripping. So we found the drain plug here. We're gonna try to drain the oil that way with another container so we can get this RTV on. Man, I don't know. Okay. Should I keep trying? No, not, don't force it. I don't want any other problems. It's all right, we, we'll just stick to our original plan. Oh, a lot of suspense, huh? It's killing me. 
Will this method work? Will we be able to escape? At this rate, it's gonna be tomorrow. It's still dripping about once every 10 seconds. Earlier it was once every seven. I think the hill is probably helping a bit. Tomorrow morning, if it's still dripping slow, we're gonna try jacking up uh, probably the far side. And hopefully that makes it stop long enough that we can get this stuff up on there. So it looks like we're spending the night here. stop dripping it's dripping now every 15 seconds so I think their oil is almost out of it but in the meantime we just needed to take a little break so we we're just watching the office and trying to just relax our brains I don't know if anybody forgot like I did but we just crossed a border today <laughs> Wow, so we're up here bright and early. You can see how cold it is. <laughs> but uh, looks like it's still slightly dripping. So we're gonna jack it up on that side and hopefully, um, cause the leak's kind of in one corner. So hopefully, you know, that'll dry up that spot enough that we can clean it and put that sealant on there. Yeah, this is the first time we've used our jack. Fits perfectly in the jack point there. So no more leak. Okay, so for the sealant, the RTV, to work, we have to make sure there's no oil on it. So that's why we jacked up the van, have most of the oil sway to the other side of the pan. That's the best we could think of. I mean, can't turn on the van, so really that's the only option we had. At this point, Danny is cleaning it, so he is pushing on the van a little bit. If he pushes too hard to clean it, it might roll the jack. So we have the chocks in, we have a piece of wood under the tire, we're going to be safe and we're going to get this silicon on and it's going to dry and we're going to get out of here. <laughs> we're going to go to a place that will actually fix it. So why would you get this in the first place? This one I used to install the LED headlights because they don't come with the right connector for our headlights. So good thing we had it. Yeah. Okay, so here you can see this is a gaping hole right here. Oh my gosh. So this is the main area. So put that sealant tons right here. Got the problem spot really covered and I took down this guard just to see the rest and it does look pretty okay over here but we're just gonna slop some of that stuff on anyway. Okay, so here's the back. So we were able to get completely around the oil pan with the sealant. I even did that dent, huge dent we put in it yesterday just for good measure. So now we have to wait and we have to hope and not cry. No service, just sitting here like just ducks. We don't have internet here. We're doing this all as best we can. <laughs> Besides that, we we're actually supposed to go on a podcast at one. So really hoping we make it. <laughs> it's been an hour and a half or two hours. I wanted to let it set longer. Put this fan so we can try to, so let's see how it's looking. If it feels rubbery and doesn't smear. Yes, let's get the oil. Wow, so now, oh boy, we gotta put the oil in. Okay, so you pour it in and I'll look. Oh, that leaks so far. Should we take down the jack? Okay. Put your money put down here. <laughs> let's try the next dose, huh? No leak. Oh, nice funnel, babe. Huh? So this is the oil from the farmer. Yeah, we're above. 
Okay. Okay. So we so, have enough oil. So now let's put everything away. Turn this beast on. Okay. Oh man, it's leaking. Just barely drip though, right? Just a uh, drip a second. I think we better get going then. So you put the cap on. I'm gonna have to scoot forward to get that chalk out. Not the best situation. Okay, so the engine's on. It's not really leaking that bad. We better get going. Well, we made it over that spot where we got messed up. Okay, so I left the backpack here and we're filling up a bit. It's just barely dripping, but But it's not slippery. It's like not that wet. Just take it slow. Yeah, yeah. Okay, every five minutes, we're gonna be checking. How's it look? Looks fine. Okay, five more minutes. Still on the dipstick, but it was higher. So yeah, why don't we just put a little? <laughs> Looks like it's starting to drip worse. Back to the pavement, about 15 more minutes to the shop. Looks good. A lot less than yesterday before we sealed it. I'm just really surprised that we managed to drive this far down to the pavement. Came up with that plan to seal it up. Made it to a shop. <laughs> wow, so he says everything's okay in there. We made it down. We have a mechanic who has a plan. And we're gonna make this podcast. Oh, <laughs> Emily's so stoked. I am. I didn't want to disappoint. <laughs> Basically, the plan is to bang out the oil pan. You had a special machine, and it's already looking better. But if it ends up leaking, then we'll go across the street. There's a welder. Everything internally looks great. Still fingers crossed on some aspects of this. We just finished the podcast with GHT Overland. Whoa, very nice people. You guys got to check out this podcast. Big update on the oil pan. <laughs> They have already banged it out and it's looking pretty good. I don't think we're gonna need another oil pan. They, they paid careful attention to the flatness of the, the part that joins, which is where it was separated a little bit, where we had to put that sealant. These guys seem like they know what they're doing, but the true test will be once we get it back on. Last night when we were up there, I was thinking about nothing but the van and if we were gonna be able to get out of there, I'm so grateful that our MacGyver solution worked. Whenever we pulled up and he said, we'll go, we're gonna go here, this is where they told us to go. I said, Danny, this place is called MacGyver. <laughs> I thought he was gonna be putting this stuff together with paper clips. <laughs> Functionally, it should be fine. And I like the idea of fixing it, not just having to get a new one because yeah. this is like some really beefy metal down there. We're on the right track. Probably in the US, you would just get a new one. But you know, getting a new one will be prohibitive down here. I'm really we MacGyvered our way down here. <laughs> what a day! Uh, and I'm including the border crossing in that day. I'm gonna go with him in his car and we're gonna buy the uh, gasket. Good luck. Whoa, so these were seven for a dollar. Handmade right there, hand fried. Mm. Oh, 
Man. Gran momento. Oh boy. We're driving. <laughs> we were able to leave the mechanic. He fixed us all up. And we were able to have a nice chat with him and his wife, which is really fun. Yeah, you know, last night I was depressed about this whole situation. And I'm just so shocked that we got it solved. And you know, we were able to MacGyver it enough to get even back down here without yeah. even my toe. I am just completely exhausted. That mechanic, he said, we don't have to change the oil pan, we'll be good with this one. You know, I gotta keep an eye on it, keep putting oil in there, maybe, you know, just checking, checking. The cost of the repair was $80. I bought the oil myself, I bought the gasket myself, which he cut to size out of a big sheet. It's like a big paper gasket thing. I bought the ceiling as well. I was so impressed. I mean, it sucks. It was my fault, you know, and I've learned a lesson about being patient while driving. Even if you see something up ahead, just get out and take a look, bro. <laughs> the depth, you know. If you, yeah. If you, the angle you tried to take doesn't seem to work out, just stop. Yeah. Right then. Back up. Try again. I could have said that doesn't look like a good idea. Best man life over here. Well, it's a, it's a team thing, you know? It's not just <laughs> one of us. If I would have said, no, that looks like a bad idea, go more to the left, I'm, I'm, I'm sure he would have taken my advice. Thanks for joining us, guys. Thanks for watching. Yeah, and we're back on the road, and we're going to do something actually fun in Ecuador next time. <laughs> and we'll see you there. Bye. If you like this video, the easiest and free way to help us out is to like, comment, and subscribe.